Okay, this is probably video 72, I think. We're at Logan and um, Park Street right now in uh, Kansas City, like in the west part of Kansas City, kind of. Um, north of us, eventually, Santa Fe somewhere. To the north of us, there's like a little park. Um, just, I think I just passed Truce there. Oh no, no, Truce is right here, my bad. Truce is here, now it ends at a T with Park. Um, I see a purple street light to the north on the other side of this, but I don't know if that's on Santa Fe or if that's uh, on the next block up. I've seen a couple of them actually, so I'm gonna go up there now. That's pretty dark there. All right, so we are on the yeah, like said Park, and then this is Parker Street, Park and Parker. Okay, I'm gonna take her right. So we do have a purple street light up here on the other side of this intersection with Santa Fe on Parker. Okay. Uh, we've already seen this, but, and which is also K7, um, Kansas 7. I'm going to take a right, and I want to see, maybe this is where the purple street light was that I saw. Okay, let's see. I'm going to take a right. I'm going to where this is, which I don't know if it makes sense to do or not. Uh, what is this? Hoping we have enough time before it gets dark here to actually look something I want to look at. That very much interests me. But I want to actually just finish out this block, make sure I've seen the whole block. So there's a purple street light here. And then also a defective light after it. Well, eventually after it goes on the left. Okay, I don't know where that purple light was that I saw. Oh, this is a park again, so I scrapped that. Okay. I think I saw a purple light that's still inside of the residential area as well. Could have been this one here for all I know. There's a really blue light that we just passed on the left. Um, that's probably this one that I saw. Okay. Alright, so pretty sure. But just to make sure. So at Pine and Santa Fe, there's that purple light. There was a mercury vapor light at the end of the alley that I just passed. Of course, there's a purple light in line with this one down, but at the other edge in a cul-de-sac, but near Dennis Street. It's not actually on that street. In fact, you can't even see it from Dennis over there. Okay. All right, so we have gotten this whole block now. Now, I originally wanted to keep going and take some more routes, but there's just, it's not gonna happen today, uh, maybe next week or something like that. All right, I'm gonna take a left here. get to a gas station here so that I can get some batteries for my for my uh, camera so I can uh, film something that's very interesting to me but I just saw some patterns that look the same on the LED streetlights which I had never ever expected to happen before 
And if they do that, there's a possible reason why they would. There are a couple reasons I can think of of why they would do that. But, actually, when I think about it, I don't know. I mean, I could, it's not necessarily a real smart idea, I guess. But the smartest thing about it is they would look like they do it on purpose and it's not a defect. No. Uh, the smartest thing about it might be that they can limit how purple the lights get. But, uh, that kind of undermines it being a defect, doesn't it? I think so. Especially if they're putting them there on purpose. Some kind of, uh, thing where they put certain lights in certain places, too. And the machine, the machine's even doing it on purpose, then. That's what that would mean. Oh. Okay. Alright, I don't have time to fill up on gas at this moment, so we are going, I'm just going to stop this video now.